Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. It's my honor to declare a convocation officially con convened. Please take your seats and rest comfortably. It's a pleasure to welcome today's business graduates who sit before me, along with family and friends, to this morning's convocation ceremony. A special welcome to the faculty and staff from the Haskane School of Business and also Graduate Studies. Thank you to the faculty and staff for working hard to support the graduates as they achieve this milestone today. University President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Elizabeth Cannon and I are pleased to welcome honorary degree recipient David Teese. Mm -hmm. And it's my pleasure also to welcome past board chair and past honorary degree recipient Dr. Dick Haskane, along with Chancellor Emeritus and past honorary degree recipient Dr. Jim Dinning. Welcome Bonnie DuPont, Chair of the Board of Governors, Dr. Drew Marshall, Provo and Vice President Academic, and welcome members of our Board of Governors, Senate, University Academia, Senior Administration, Students Union, and Graduate Students Association. And it's also a pleasure to welcome distinguished graduate Dean Prevo. To family and friends, you're here celebrating with a mixture of pride, joy, and a shared sense of accomplishment. You've stood by your graduates over the course of their degree, offering words of encouragement, a voice of reason, and even the occasional shoulder to cry on. Thanks to each of you for the love and support given to our graduates. In fact, graduates, what I've just said is important. Let's pause here for a minute. So as you know, we're in the midst of the Stanley Cup Finals. Game five is tomorrow night. One of the neat traditions about hockey is that when someone has scored and put the puck in the net, that player immediately turns to the person that gives them, has given them the assist and they point to that person so that everyone in the arena knows who set up that goal. It really reinforces the notion that hockey is a team sport. While post-secondary education is also a team sport. What I'd like to do is ask all the graduates to get up out of your seats right now. Please rise. Take a minute, look around, and find your family and friends in the bleachers. And I want you to point to them, those people that set you up, who assisted you to graduate today. Wave and cheer, make some noise, show them how grateful you are. Thank you. Graduates, take a seat. And obviously, to the assembled graduates, congratulations. You are the University of Calgary graduates of 2015. <clears throat> this is a great day of celebration. Today, we recognize your years of hard work, long hours, and commitment to your studies, as well as extracurricular activities. You've worked so hard and we are so very proud of everything that you've accomplished. Remember this milestone. Afterwards, take lots of photos with your family and your friends and cherish the memories that you've made along the way. You've done it. You're a University of Calgary graduate, and this is something you're going to carry with you for the rest of your life. Now, what does a former astronaut have in common with the graduates of the Haskane School of Business and Graduate Studies? Well, first and foremost, we're all University of Calgary alumni. So be proud that this is and always will be your university. As alumni, yeah. As alumni, we're all ambassadors of this great institution and it's our responsibility to share with the world that the University of Calgary is a dynamic institution and an excellent place to pursue post-secondary education. Be proud that you're leaving the university with an incredible education 
and an experience that's truly unique to you. I'm proud to be an alumnus of the University of Calgary, and I'm honored to welcome you to our alumni family. Secondly, our experience here at the University of Calgary has left us with an enriched perspective of the world, and it's inspired us to set our own set of personal goals. We've gained an all-encompassing education, and we're prepared to conquer whatever the world is ready to dish out to us. You are all leaders, and I encourage you to use every bit of your knowledge and your leadership skills that you've gained here to shape a better future for you, for your families, for your community, and also for your nation. And most importantly, the unifying factor that we, brings us here together this morning as we celebrate this momentous occasion is a shared value of post-secondary education. You've built up the skills to achieve all that life has to offer, and I encourage you to reach beyond your potential. Continue to learn, continue to grow, continue to thrive, knowing that you've received a quality education. Let me close by saying that what happens next in your lives matters to us. We'll watch with pride as you make your mark in the world, and as alumni, you'll always remain part of the University of Calgary family. We wish you continued success and happiness. My advice to you is to embark on your next journey with an open mind and continue to build on your cutting edge skills. Explore, innovate, collaborate, and don't be afraid to venture beyond your comfort zone. Reach further than you think is possible, knowing that your rich education empowers you. We're all confident that you will accomp accomplish some great things as a University of Calgary graduate. I now invite University President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Elizabeth Cannon, to come forward to address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Thirsk. I would like to welcome our many distinguished guests, our honorary degree recipient, David Teese, our distinguished graduate, Dean Pro Prevo, Dr. Richard Haskane, the benefactor of the Haskane School of Business, members of our Board of Governors, Senate, senior leadership team, our faculty, staff, alumni, friends and families, Good morning and welcome to the University of Calgary for this very special occasion. I'd like to particularly welcome our graduates and offer our hearty congratulations. Your graduation day is a significant milestone in your life, a day to pause and reflect, and a day to celebrate your achievements over the last number of years. Today's ceremony is a deeply meaningful moment steeped in tradition going back hundreds of years. When you cross this stage, you are joined to every other alumnus of the University of Calgary, past, present, and future, through this important tradition. You join the ranks of an extraordinary group of thoughtful citizens and engaged leaders, changing our social, cultural, economic, and natural landscapes for the betterment of us all. One of my deepest joys as an academic and president of our dynamic university is the tradition that is convocation. I'm immensely proud to witness your graduation and proud to know that our university community provided a solid foundation from where you reached for the stars. I'm joined on stage today by those who've achieved excellence in academic and community leadership they are passionate about the quality of higher education and are dedicated to the success of our students. Please join me in thanking them, our faculty and staff, members of the Board of Governors and Senate, chancellors past and present. Those on the stage, please stand and we applaud you for your enduring commitments to our students and the University of Calgary. Thank you. The University of Calgary has the privilege of being a center for the wonder of creative discovery, the excitement of innovation, 
and the passion for learning. This privilege brings the responsibility to care for the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and greater community who bring our university's mission to life. This is what our eyes high vision, to be one of Canada's top five research universities, truly means. And we are coming closer to realizing our vision. We are now ranked number one in Canada amongst universities under 50 years of age, number two in North America, and number nine in the world. Thank you. In fact, we are among the top five research universities in Canada in 23 of the 36 measurements that we use to assess our performance. We are top five in sponsored research revenue per faculty member, as well as in publications and citations per faculty member. And we have a student to faculty ratio in the top five of research universities in Canada, meaning our students have an excellent access to their instructors compared to our peer institutions. 96% of our students are employed within six months of graduation. And we are number two in the country in sustainability, in education, research, operations, and administration. We are working hard to develop environments and opportunities that lead to academic and personal success. This past year, we launched research strategies to help focus our research activities in areas such as biomedical engineering and brain and mental health research. More students than ever before can get involved in groundbreaking research on interdisciplinary teams at the heart of these and other strategic research priorities. The Taylor Institute for Teaching and Learning, currently under construction on our campus, will enhance teaching and learning for our students and faculty and will be hub for innovative teaching across North America. We are also building two new residences so more students can experience the University of Calgary right here on our campus. And this past year, due to the tremendous support from a family of community leaders, we launched U Calgary Strong to nurture our students in mind, body, and spirit, and to help build resiliency to the stressors in university and life beyond. I wish I could tell you the stories of each and every one of our graduates because they are all truly exceptional. But let me just speak about a few. After high school, Josie Ryan intended to pursue a career in law. However, that changed when she attended a seminar at the Haskane School of Business. And today, she's graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce. She is being recognized for her academic achievement. But beyond that, she has been a travel enthusiast. She completed a semester abroad in Prague and plans to take a three-month trip to Australia and New Zealand. She will start a Master's in Professional Accounting at the University of Saskatchewan. Josie is proof that living the student experience to its fullest yields personal satisfaction and academic rewards. Another one of our exceptional graduates is Matthew Duryu. Matthew had his first experience at the University of Calgary when he obtained his Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biology and now he is graduating with an MBA for Global Energy Management and Sustainable Development. The Haskane School of Business closely aligned with Matthew's goals of being more involved with the community and he took advantage of the opportunities available to achieve excellence. He takes great pride in giving back to the community by doing pro bono work and volunteering for organizations like Immigrant Services Calgary and Accessible Housing. Matthew is an extraordinary student who can be found salsa dancing and spending time with his family and friends in his spare time. And finally, Doctor of Philosophy graduate Feng Mei Gong. She had no idea what to expect after moving here with her family from China to start her program in management information systems. Once she settled into her new life and took up the opportunities offered by her supervisor and the Haskane School of Business, 
Feng Mei began to get more involved in experiences that made her feel part of our community. After the big flood of 2013, Feng Mei, along with other members of our university, volunteered to help clean homes for families in need. Feng Mei now finds herself and her family packing again. The new adventure takes her to the United States, where she will be an assistant professor at the University of Laverne in California. She will take the value and power of community engagement with her. Graduands, today is an opportunity to reflect on your university experience as you look to where tomorrow may take you. In your time at the University of Calgary, you have challenged yourselves, explored possibilities, and grown towards your potential. You have learned about responsibility and discipline, about setting priorities and managing expectations. And these abilities will help you, your families, and your communities flourish. I know that you will use your impressive talents and considerable energy to lead the way in making our world a better place. You are joining the more than 157,000 alumni in 152 countries. Remember, your University of Calgary family will always be here for you. Keep your eyes high and follow your dreams as you set off anew in the great journey that is your life. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Brian Smith, our university orator, who will deliver the citation for our honorary degree recipient. <clears throat> In the academic pursuit of knowledge, one of the greatest achievements is the creation of an entirely new way of thinking or understanding. Those who create compelling new structures for thought and behavior unfailingly attract a groundswell of interest and admiration. Nothing defines leadership in a field quite so distinctly as the esteem and recognition offered by one's peers. In developing single-handedly the dynamic capabilities model in strategic management, David Teese transformed the conceptual landscape of this field of inquiry and opened vistas of illuminating possibility in strategic management studies. His breakthrough reconceptualization of innovation and technological change and of strategic foresight and agility in the management of organizations have engaged impressive numbers of colleagues and followers and accrued citations and other indices of academic merit on an extraordinary scale. Increasingly, in the contemporary world, there is a demand for the adaptation and application of ideas for the betterment of society. It is through praxis, the practice and living through of ideas, that the rigor of theory is put to the test of action. The achievements of David Teese epitomize the dynamic synergy that can result when the inquiring spirit of academic research animates the muscle and drive of human enterprise. While entrepreneurial and professional endeavors have benefited greatly from the application of Dr. Teese's research, the lens of that research has been polished and refined by the creative friction of professional practice. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Dr. David Teese, a renowned and visionary leader in the field of business studies and its wider professional community. On behalf of the Senate and the University of Calgary, I invite you to invest him with the degree Doctor of Laws 
honoris causa. I admit you, David J. Teese, to the degree Doctor of Laws on Eris Causa and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> I know you all had to wor work harder for your degree than I did. It's a great pleasure to address you today graduates of the University of Calgary. And what I want to do is to encourage you as you venture forth to be bold. To be bold in personality, to be bold in vision, and to be bold in your actions. Be bold and experiment, and don't always follow the beaten path. The beaten path in business and in life is comfortable, but it's fraught with mediocrity. If you stay on the well-traveled road, you'll work hard, but you'll probably stand still. You'll learn a good living because you are a University of Calgary graduate, but it will be a hard-fought career, and you won't contribute as much to society and yourself and your family as otherwise might be the case. I make these statements not just from personal experience, but from lessons from my own academic research. My academic research over the last 20 years has been in the field of strategic management, as was mentioned. And it's not something that I started out to do as a PhD economist. Strategic management is a destination I arrived at by pursuing hard questions in economics, such as, how is wealth created by firms? Economists from Adam Smith on think they know something about how nations create wealth, but it turns out there's not as much, we don't have as much to say as economists about how firms get to be prosperous and how they go from being good to being great. There's a well-developed theory of monopoly but it's incredibly poor at helping people in business understand how to create value. And it leads to the wrongful suggestion in many cases that good business success is actually bad. The proper pursuit of profit creates jobs and prosperity. But from where does the enterprise level success come? How does one break out and build something new? My research shows that it comes more from doing the right things rather than from doing things right. What do I mean? I mean that it's important in business and in life to figure out what is the next thing that society wants, that customers need, and that they're not currently getting and that they're willing to pay for. Steve Jobs figured this out with many important innovations, including bringing digital music via the internet to the world. But it took many things. It wasn't just creating a new device called the iPod. It was creating a whole new ecosystem, getting artists online, getting content providers online, and providing digital rights management. It's often a cluster of activities that is necessary to achieve success. And it's not just a matter of improving what went before. So Apple Computer didn't just build a new product, it built a whole ecosystem, and it became the most valuable company in the world, more valuable than the energy giant ExxonMobil. Which is, brings us to the energy sector here in Alberta. The rules for wealth creation are the same, whether you're talking the high-tech sector or the natural resource sector or the agricultural sector. It's deceptively simple to think of wealth and the oil business coming out of the ground, but if you think about it a little harder, you realize it doesn't. Venezuela has plenty of great oil sands, but it's relatively poor. Wealth in the oil business doesn't come out of the ground, it comes out of the mind. It comes from new innovation, it comes from new business models. It comes from bringing finance and human capital together. 
But back to this theme of doing things right or doing the right things versus doing things right. Your education here at Calgary, if it's like education at UC Berkeley, which is my home university, does a really good job of teaching you how to solve problems and how to solve defined tasks, how to optimize, how to be more efficient, how to implement best practice. This is all very important. Don't get me wrong. This is very important. But it's not enough to generate success anymore if it ever was. And that's because other people can do it too. Today, the best companies know how to operate reasonably well. You'll not be a path breaker by just being good at operations, although you'll need to be good at operations. It'll make you a valued employee, and that's okay, but it's not enough to create something really new. To create something distinctive and special that leaves its mark on Canada and the world, you must go beyond best practice and invent something new and better. Not necessarily a new device or a new product. It can be a new service. It can be a new business model. There's lots of ways to be different. You might say, well, how do you do this? In my view, it requires a special frame of mind. One needs to be sensing the future and seizing the opportunities as they arise. It's not just a matter of making sense of things. It's also creating the future. But you might ask, how do you find new opportunities and create new capabilities? In my view, opportunities are everywhere and nowhere at the same time. But there's several ways you can sneak up on new opportunities. One rule is to stay curious. Being curious has enormous payoff. Go off the beaten trail a bit in your career. I'm not saying you shouldn't start on a beaten trail, but don't stay on it forever. And in conjunction with going off the beaten trail, embrace mistakes. And let me tell you, making mistakes actually isn't a bad idea. It's not a disgrace. It's not a disgrace if you know how to learn from it. Mistakes are often the source of new insight, at least if your mind is prepared. The American inventor Thomas Edison's discovery of the light bulb, and the light bulb, of course, is now the most common icon for a new idea. It was not a single flash of brilliance, as so many people think, but the result of a strategy of repeated testing and failure until the carbon filament emerged and could burn for 13 and a half hours, then 1,200 hours, then more. It took approximately 700 tries and as Edison put it, I discovered 700 things that did not work. Clearly, there was a payoff to tenacity by Edison and his team. And it was a team. It wasn't just Edison. Of course, one shouldn't pursue failure for its own sake. One needs to be smart about failing. And one needs to learn along the way. The great British inventor Alistair Pilkington kept working for years on the float glass process. Finally, he got a lucky break when the machinery broke down and thereafter, clear quality glass without bubbles flowed. Occasionally, you get lucky. But it's important not to be afraid of mistakes. It helps to have some idea, of course, of where to prospect because there's plenty of opportunity to make mistakes. We all know that. Is there a compass we can employ? I believe there is. The prospect for new business ideas comes with an understanding of customer problems and of user needs to steer your inquiry. You don't come up with great business ideas in a vacuum. You need deep understanding of what the problems are, what customers are struggling with every day. A new franchise concept for, for fried chicken may not be needed. But there may be pay dirt in the interface between energy storage and solar. Look to new areas where there are defined customer needs or emerging customer needs. And good 
Decisions require a good decision process. Identify the problem, frame the problem, collect knowledge, collect fact, collect intelligence, make inferences, decide, act. It's not unlike the, scientific pro the process of scientific inquiry itself. Summing it up, I guess I'm saying that failures and mistakes are not something to be afraid of. Errors are not falls from virtue. They can be embraced and learned from. But as Pasteur pointed out, chance favors the prepared mind. The prepared mind is a well-educated mind. It's also one that's not defensive. It's not a mind that's always right. Even Einstein made 20 plus mistakes, most of which of course he managed to correct himself. But one should not be afraid of mistakes and if you're not making some, you're not trying enough new things. The beauty and relevance of all of this is that you're still young enough to make mistakes and recover and learn from them. As expertise grows, there is sometimes, in some people, a tendency to devalue mistakes. Less time is spent learning, more time harvesting, and more time being right. Trade on your recklessness while you still have a bit left, but trade on it smart. Don't be out to win the Darwin Award for a really dumb act. The message here is it's okay to be edgy. Mavericks should be welcomed, not scorned. They're always risking a little of themselves. And that is one way that new paths forward are discovered for all. What I'm saying here isn't all that profound, but if understood, it can give us all a better chance of learning from each other. Artists are especially good at being edgy and trying new things. They have to. They accept that mistakes are necessary to find the pathways to success. Indeed, with art, failure is the norm. And given that the costs of failure in art are low, that's actually a good way for things to take place. It's also true in business. Failure is more common than success. Finally, how do you build the resilience and learn from mistakes? Superficially, it usually feels better to win than to lose. So how do you steal yourself for losing and for failing? First, get comfortable in your own skin. Second, laugh at yourself. Humor is always useful. Third, when you fail, fail with grace. Fourth, understand that you and others around you are gaining from your mistakes. Indeed, Something in my research I call negative knowledge is actually very valuable. Knowing what doesn't work is often as valuable as knowing what does work. Shrinking egos and deflating hubris is sometimes is something else good mistakes should also bring about, and these are good developments too. Much of what I've outlined finds support in many different fields of endeavor. It finds support in the field of strategic management which is my focus. It finds support in behavioral decision theory. It also finds support in advice from great people, from great historical figures. Abigail Adams, wife of the second US President John Adams, stated that the habits of vigorous minds are formed in contending with difficulties. Great necessities call out great virtues. I think she would have agreed that mistakes are often difficult to contend with, but those that have tried are better for it. The great Canadian inventor of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell said, don't go forever on the public road, going only where others have gone. Leave the beaten track occasionally and drive into the woods. You'll be certain to find something you've never seen before. And your former prime minister, Lester Pearson, was on to the same theme too when he said, 
Failures are made only by those who fail to dare, not by those who dare to fail. Go forward, graduates, and be amongst those who dare to fail. Dr. Teeth, thank you for your words. Uh, you not only delivered your address right, you delivered the right address. Yeah. <laughs> your words were bold and, and, and very thoughtful. Uh, I'd also like to thank you for accepting an honorary degree from us. It's actually us uh, who are grateful that uh, we can be associated uh, with you. So thank you very much. You're a role model to our students, to our, our faculty, and you're an inspiration and a great world citizen. Thank you. <coughs> Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculties of the university, I present these graduates and those in the program who are unable to be at this ceremony. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to stand and join with the thousands who have gone before in making the University of Calgary graduates pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. I invite all past graduates of the University of Calgary to support these newest alumni by also st standing and affirming a graduate's obligations and ideals. Could past graduates please stand? It's wonderful to see so many of you in the stands and on the platform. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate, Dean Prevost, who will lead the graduate pledge. Dean holds a BCom in finance with distinction and an MBA from, so BCom from the University of Calgary, MBA from Harvard Business School. He is a well-respected business leader with extensive national and international experience in senior roles. He served as president of Allstream, former, formerly AT&T Canada, and prior to that, he was a senior consultant with Monitor Company, an international strategy consulting firm. Dean recently returned to Calgary with his family and took the helm as CEO of HiPro, a Calgary-based privately held provider of animal nutrition in North America with operations across Western Canada and Southwestern US. Welcome, Dean. Graduates, I will now lead you in the graduate pledge on page 17 of your program. Please open it up and follow along and read aloud. When we finish, you will all say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will, in my turn, share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, 
I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute, ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. By the authority of the Statutes of Alberta and upon the recommendation of our faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. As Dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, I can attest to the great dedication and perseverance that are required to earn a graduate degree. Graduate students receiving their de degrees today are poised to contribute to our accumulation of knowledge about the field of management and to become leaders in the business community and the public sector. Although registered in the Faculty of Graduate Studies, today's degree recipients found their academic home in the Haskane School of Business. It gives me great pleasure to join the Dean of the Haskane School in congratulating these graduates. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, we present the following graduates. For the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Raymond Asamoah, Barnier. <laughs> Feng Mai Gong. <laughs> Zhao Yu Lu. For the degree, Master of Business Administration, Anna Engworth. <laughs> Ennis Amin Albar. <laughs> Hannah Hani Elmaso. Saad Amjad, sorry. <laughs> Gagandeep Singh Babar. <laughs> Kashik Bag. <laughs> Kanu Ranjan Bakshi. <laughs> Pirahas Balasing. <laughs> Kyle. J. Beckwermert. <laughs> Sruthi Ramohan Bele. <laughs> Shana Christine Benson. <laughs> Tanya Bernice Brucker. <laughs> Sean James Kalbeck. Craig Michael Ian Campbell. Bridget Marie Casey. Yanyan Chai. Stephen Chung. Neil Savio de Souza. Matthew Hughes Duro. Richard Abajo, <laughs> Joseph Ekpi, <laughs> Robert Tyler Austin Ellis, <laughs> Mohammed Hassan Felfel, <laughs> Jeffrey Ross Foreman. Michael Charles Gadet. Yeah. 
Lena Gatke. Ryan Allen Graves. Daniel Haynes. Douglas Hart. Diane Helen Hyduk. Heather Elizabeth Hurst. Rachel Megan Huff. Fagui Jiung. Dilu Jojo. Ryan Thomas Jolly. Khaled Kadri. Nagesh, Nageshwar Rao Kakola Benkara. Andrew Karavas. Nadir Khan. Pankaj Kumar. Olasupu Adelwe Lawal. Paul David Lee. Shabir Safudin Mahesri. Husefa Yusuf Mahesri. Maria Maxikova, Maximova. Stephen Michael McCarthy. Carrie Ann McNabb. Sumit Mehta. Marsha Elaine Meller. Jenna May Mortis. Alexander Mukovenkov. Chi Ming Nu, also with a Master of Social Work. Rahul Palamari. Dusion Park. Brent Allen Patillion. Ray Sean Panyok Tuyu. Cameron James Robinson. Nicole Catherine Romano. Marjorie Michelin Christian Solis. Aaron Robert Samaniak. Shaw Shaw. Gulshan Baldev Sharma. Rashmi Vital Sharma. Jeffrey Smith. Nathan Tyler Smith. Jesse Hall Solheim. Cindy Dawn Sorsdahl. Dean Bradley Stabler. Rohan Serve. Sanjeev Tawari.
Erica Thomas. Jeffrey Tuyu. Sudhanshu Tawari. Deepak Kumar Verma. Stephen Tim Wan. Long Wang. Adam Campbell Workington. Danielle Nicole White. Okay. Lawrence Wong. Kimba Yermakbeva. Jonathan Daniel Zutemann. Peter Greg Zorbas. And now for Masters of Science, Michael Thomas Folsom. Sayed Ayaz Mahmoud. Sandra Elizabeth Ungerson. So uh, my name is Vernon Jones. I'm associate dean in the Haskane School. Uh, our dean, Jim DeWald, very unfortunately couldn't be here today. It's very important to him, so I extend uh, his congratulations and his appreciation for the great work that you've done. Many of you know Jim, and uh, as soon as you get a chance, say hello to him. Um, a couple of other quick acknowledgments. I can't come up here having worked as long as I have in this university and not say something about our patron and mentor, uh, Mr. Mr. Haskane. Uh, many of you will know him because he's been to so many classes and he's been to school so many times and he's in the papers so often. But I have a lot of experience with business schools and you will not find a more distinguished and lovely mentor and patron than Mr. Richard Haskey. We are so lucky to have him. Thanks so much, Jim. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, many of our faculty and staff that are here today. We have many professors here today, most of them you know in one capacity or another, and lots of the staff that work in our MBA and undergraduate and on our offices in this school. Um, I just appreciate that they will come. They come for you. They know you've done a good job. They really love that they've had the opportunity to teach you. And I'd just like to acknowledge the tremendous faculty and staff we have in the Haskins School. Here they are. Bye. And then finally, I'll just say about the Dean again, he's providing wonderful leadership to our school. He's particularly interested in the matter of student engagement. And you're going to see a lot of activity going forward in student activities and alumni events that really connect you back to the University of Calgary and the Haskane School. You really got to take advantage of that when you see it. All right, I'm over my 60 seconds. Uh, so, uh, eminent chancellor, by the authority of the Council of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, I have the honor to present the following graduates. For the degree, Bachelor of Commerce, Atif Abbasi. <laughs> Alexis Chantal Adams. Taylor Julia Adams. Dare Agna Hotri. 
God Power, Powerson, Agu Haram. Pearl Miranda Lynn Ahmed. Jennifer Efe Ayakoroje. Rand Al Hashmi. Hassan Ali with distinction. Evo Andrik. Marcella Arroyo. Joel Asamoah. Joey Asamoah. Nancy He. Harleen Kaur Ajla. Saket Ayala Somaya Jula. George Ayub. Binta Balde. Scott Gilbert Falkwell. Brody Kenneth Barkway. Ravi Bihal. Nicola Marie Belsheim, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, first class. Levon Henry Miles Bennett. Dana Nicole Berger, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, both degrees with distinction. Jasnor Kor Bandal. Braden Mark Blasetti. Keith John Mario Blundell. Carl Mark Bly. Kyle, my apologies. Jeshua Bryant Bray. Margaret Ann Brennan, with distinction. Alexandra Erin Brunet. Jeremy Budd. Matthew Charles Bush. Laurel Butelid, with distinction. Nancy Chai. Lechicia Karamachi Garcia, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Caitlin Aaron Carlson. Valentin Castrovet. Kyle Chan. Su Lin Chang. Fei Chao. Cecilia Chao. Asim Mahmood Chaudhry, also receiving a Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences. Bosun Chen. Jonathan James Chernoff. Aaron Chung. Ryan Chu, with distinction. Rachna Chohan. Edward Choi, with distinction. Matthew Chomik, with distinction. Kelton Parker Chow. 
Tiffany Chow. Dustin Eric Christensen. Hartman Chu. Claire Chue. Christina Maria Chumak. Arthur Kyoshon. Chantal Brianne Clothier. Michael Ryan Cohen. Sarah Claire Collins. Kevin Marshall Conabare. Jillian Bronwyn Cozier. Marilyn Couture Paré. Genevieve Sophie Krebin. Joshua James Crowhurst, with distinction. Brittany Ann Dadamo. Christine Dang. Shalan Aaron Darrow. Victor David. Craig Jeffrey Day. Jason James Dewar. Asfar Durrani. Lovepreet Singh Desi. Daniel Gerald Dickey, with distinction. Erica Lynn Diedrichs. Simon Deep, with distinction. Jonathan Diamond. Colin Din. Lauren Doan. Matthew James Dolney, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics, both degrees with distinction. Christy Ann Donaldson. Kevin Jonathan Dong. Kirsty Louise Drever, with distinction. Polinda Grace Dew, with distinction. Danita Rose Duguay. Chuxon Duong. Kayla Lindsay Earl, with distinction. Matthew Alexander Eady. Tyler Boyd Engel. Samantha Ruth Enns, with distinction. Elizabeth Carmen Epic. Logan Christopher Evans. Taylor Day Fargi. <laughs> Zheng Ching Fang. Jordan Fleming, with distinction. Marie Alyssa May Flores. Shelly Ann Fu. Caitlin Fox. Brooklyn Donna Gates. 
Andreas Eduardo Galindo. Kaylee Patricia Gallant. Shantong Gao. Matias Alejandro Garcia, with distinction. Salam Gebehu. Madison G. Zacharias Richard Geib. David Richard Janae. Morgan Dobko Polina Gibson, with distinction. Rajinder Singh Gill. Natalie Marie Gillespie. Ashley Gilmer. Andres Gomez. Kevin Gerardo Gongora Maiolo. Joshua Richard Anthony Goslin. Matthew Sidney Golden. Britta Jones Graverson, with distinction. Teresa Lynn Gutierrez. Alexander Gvozdanovich, with distinction. <laughs> Linda Ha. <laughs> Haley Han. <laughs> Janida Halili. <laughs> Mark James Elliot Hansen. Danielle Margaret Hart, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, both degrees with distinction. <laughs> Lindsay Rachel Harvey. Rizwan Pierali Hassanali. Jordan Anna Hauber. Rostislav Havrilishin. Todd Tianki Hay. Blaine Robert Herkel. Ashley Hermawan. Daniel Evan Hickaway. Cassidy Lee ha Leah Hides. Kenna Alicia Hilario. Rhea Raju Hiranandani, with distinction. Shogo Hirata. Matthew Ledeck. Valerie Wing Yin Ho. Tyler Cameron Thomas Hodgson. Brandon Hofer. Ainsley Mariel Hood Holmes. Samuel Christian Horton. Nicholas Ka Wi Su. Thank you, Scott. Roma Pradeep Jani. Connor Robert Jeffries. 
Stephanie Anne Marie Jennings, Matthew Edmund Jess, Ashwin Philip John, Todd Mitchell Johnson, Brady Jones. Christina Elizabeth Jones. Laura Jacqueline Johnson. Anik Kabea. Jacob Kafai Kan. Wesley Can, Ashton Quintus Singh Candola, Irfan Kanji, Janessa Rose Camp, Nicole Christine Kent. Michelle Kerr, Miha Khalid, Nader Shah Khan, Sun Young Kiel. Daniel Kim. Abby Lynn Kind, with distinction. <laughs> Dabur Ali Karmani. Brendan Michael Kish. Christian Milushev Kitov, with distinction. Michelle Cassandra Conde. Brad Coster, with distinction. Susanna Kathleen Kubik, also graduating with a Bachelor of Kinesiology. Kevin Kwan, with distinction. Roland C. Yuan Kwan. Teresa Kwan, with distinction. Jasmine Sabrina Kwong. Karis Charles Kyle. Samuel Bin La. Mark Richard John La Riviere. Parissa Ann Labelle. Shalene Lada. Gary Lai. Kiana Lolly, Jesse Lolly, Antonia Lamb, <laughs> Sinera Lamb. Kelvin Lamb. Erin Christina Langeau, also graduating with a uh, Bachelor of Arts in History, both degrees with distinction. <laughs> Rebecca Kimberly Langridge. 
Brianna Raydon Larson. <laughs> Jacqueline Patricia Davids Lanthrop. <laughs> Furla Lau. <laughs> Jessica Lau. <laughs> Melanie Ruby Lau. <laughs> Alberta Lee. Carolyn Lee. Johnny Lee Lam. Silken Leach. Matthew Robert Learning. Justin Lee. Romeo Lehman, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. Patricia Leong. Lauren Leung, graduating with distinction. Nicole Leung. Colton Harding Lewis. <laughs> Sarah Lee. Flora Shi Ying Liang. Yifei Liang. Robert Liu. <laughs> Wing Shan Sarah Liu. <laughs> Matina Lorimer. <laughs> Katrina Hazel Lucas. <laughs> Jessica Lee. Monica Ma. <laughs> Brett Daniel McDonald. Anna Mackay. Colton James McKay. Anwar Medeev. George Madrileos. Derek Thomas Ma. Madison Maley with distinction. Julie Ann Maines. <laughs> Haley Fawn Maximic Harris. <laughs> With distinction. Manpreet Malley. <laughs> Mirdamad Mamadov. Danielle Marie Marcucci. Aaron Thomas Moretsky with distinction. Shanna Margulies. William Moore Martin. Alex Martinovsky. Gerwinder Marwaha. 
Ashley Leanne Maxwell. Brendan Maxwell. Peter Leslie Maynard. Matt McGurr, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Colin Troy McKay. Cameron Alexander McKaig. Adam James McLaughlin. Kelsey McLeod. Ian Stanley McNaught. Gail Louise Medley. Rohan Mehta. Bradley Kenneth Melnick. Alana Jane Meyer with distinction. Bradley Keaton Michaud. Sean Allen Miller. Allison Jane Modisette with distinction. Haywood Mock. Marina Montgomery. Dana Montpetit. Liam Connor Moore. Paul Daniel Moran. Brett Alexander Morden. Aaron Keith Morrill. Heather Bernice Morris, with distinction. Gabrielle Mountjoy. Adam Robert Monroe. Neanth Natarajan. Kelvin Edward Ng. Brenda Nui. Andrew Nguyen. Brenda Nguyen. Christopher Nguyen. Cindy Nguyen. David Nguyen. Melissa Nguyen. Tanya Nguyen. Tina Tan Nguyen, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Vivian Nguyen. Nicole Lynn Nicholas. Kyle Douglas Nielsen. Melissa Diana Oblea. Jonas Ogabu. Daniel Julian Osorio Vargas.
Lauren Elizabeth Oxby. Jane Peck. Dawa Dolkar Parcheng. Suzanne Marie Park. Hilary Ann Cindy Parker, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Ashe Anushka Ajay Patel with distinction. Kate Paul. Joanna Marie Peoyo. Eric Alistair Peach. Anna Patricia Pedro. Kevin Brian Penner. Jared Charles Peterson. Ariel Pevsner. Jimmy Fan. Leanne Fon. Jeffrey Pearson with distinction. Taylor Marie Poitra with distinction. Courtney Palmen. <laughs> Tiffany Poon. <laughs> Brett Tyler Pot with distinction. Aaron John Potter. Bimo Rashid Prawiro. Whitney Rita Purvis with distinction. Thank you, Sherry. Michael Antonio Quatrin. James Douglas Quinn with distinction. Uzair Muhammad Qureshi with distinction. Ijaz Nizarali Rahim, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Sean Ishan Rahman. Vishnavi Rajagopalan also receiving, it doesn't say, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. Juan Fernando Ramos. <laughs> Faye Ran. <laughs> RJ Keegan Radcliffe. Jesse Logan Rausch. Morgan Daryl Reed. Asad Asaraf Ramatula with distinction. Matthew Dale Renz. Jason Jeffrey Real, also receiving a Bachelor of Science in Consumer Computer Science. Kristen Janelle Rigaud. Logan James Ringham. Lindsay Joy Ritz with distinction. Aaron Lindsay Roberge. Joel Roberts.
Therese Nicole Rodeler. Emma Rokosh. Taylor Benjamin Ravati. Josie Sherelle Ryan with distinction. Aisha Sadiq. Jackson Safrada. Matthew Win William Salt. Julia Kristen Sand with distinction. Janina Denise Alito Santiago. Denora Elizabeth Santos. Beneth Domingo Santos. Sharon Paul Singh Sadhu. Zane Sitar. Lori May Saunders. Garrett Scheffel. Kaylin Marie Schmeichel. Stephanie Alexandra Schmidt. Jenny Schneider. Madeline Ray Schultz. Stephanie Joyce Scott Douglas with distinction. Benjamin Semenya. Stephen James Scarbosa. Ferial Shaw. Sophia Sonia Sheikh with distinction. Madhuri Sharma. Sandeep Sharma. Jenna Nicole Shaw. Manel Salim Sheikh with distinction. Eric Jonathan Schwed. Brianne May Seach. Paulina Sin. Amen Kular Singh. Sanbir Singh. David James Slepsky. Megan Lindsay Smith. Stephen David Champion Smith. Caitlin Soley. Divya Sood. Paige Lauren Stang, also receiving Bachelor of Kinesiology. Corey Alexander Stanley. Lee Adrian Stoffer with distinction. Stephanie Kyla Leong Styles. Sonia Grubaker Stays. James Robert Stringer. Derek Gregory Stroh. Raymond Andrew Sudby. Clark Jonathan Sutter. Sylvia Shubizda. 
Christopher Ju Chong Cha. <laughs> Mary Emma Witt Burhanu Tades. <laughs> Mary Lucibel Tan. <laughs> Maham Tarak. <laughs> Matthew Anthony Chika Singh, also receiving Bachelor in Arts in Psychology. Raquel Bakiran Templa. Jessica Ten. Emily Quangling Tio. Anna Tai. Brian Tai. Edward Willem Toma. Amanda Marie Thompson. Brett Trendle. Jared Tafani. Brett Marshall Toner with distinction. Jess Kieran Carr Tour. <laughs> Juliana Torres. Georgette Tran. Tony Tran. Kim Din Trong. Charles Andrew Wai Chung Sang. Corey T. Sandy Shin Sin Sang. Heather Stephanie Tung. Renee Stephanie Tung. Alexandra Nicole Burra. Kevin Urso. Derek Vander Deren. Crystal Lynn Vanderwall. Braden Hugh Villanoweth. Leanne Vai. Eric Tristan Wagner. Randy Colleen Wallace. He Ming Wang. Jensen Wang. Shui Wang. Samantha Shirani Virasagira. Jenna Lee Weir. Kathleen Welsh. Jacqueline Ann Wetter. Lindsay Michelle Wills. Skylar Stephen Wilson, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Economics. Nadine Winkler. Christopher Andrew Wong with distinction. Hannah Wong with distinction. Jessica Wong with distinction. Christopher Stephen Workman with distinction. 
Angela Wu. Huang Liang Wu. Jarchi Wu. Keith Kunho Wu. Mabel Wu. Bingying Zi. Amy Teresa Yakishin. Jia Yi Emily Yang. Ziwei Yang. Megan Elizabeth Yi. Anna Yi. Andrew Kaiwa Yip. Brian King Yang Yip. Yasudin Yusofi. Now for the degree Bachelor of Hotel and Resort Management, Sinai Kali Chung. Carol Chow. Elisa Gail Duena. Jingyang He. Daniel Victor Kaplan. Nadia Rabolsi. <laughs> Tiffany Poon. <laughs> Taren Nicole Potter. <laughs> Olivia Ta. <laughs> Eric Wong. Chen Yang Wu. Wan Wei Zi. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2015 from the Haskane School of Business. Thank you. So I was going to ask the family and friends to join me in congratulating these fine people on a job well done, but I, I guess that's not necessary. <laughs> but on behalf of all of us at the University of uh, Calgary, congratulations to all of our business graduates. This ceremony represents uh, the launch pad of your life mission. Liftoff has occurred. Well done. This ceremony is first and foremost a celebration of your success and deservedly so for you are an impressive group. Uh, we're now at the point in our ceremony where we select some students for special recognition. Those students who have excelled in their studies to the point where they're singled out as medal winners. At this particular ceremony, 
we are recognizing 11 medalists in attendance today. The details of the uh, medals we're awarding at this particular ceremony are on the top of page 82 of the convocation programs and the names of the medal winners appear on page 87. Eminent Chancellor and President, it is my honor to present to you the platform party, graduates and everybody else assembled here today, the winners of the following medals. The winner of the Haskane School of Business Gold Medal and Haskane School of Business Silver Medallion in Accounting is Josie Sherelle Ryan. During her time in the Haskane School of Business Bachelor of Commerce program, Josie has been a multi-award winner, earning countless scholarships, most recently the CAEF Generations of Excellence Award in 2015. Josie has upheld a remarkable 4.0 GPA during the whole of her degree. She's been very involved in the Haskane community through business competitions and the Commerce Undergraduate Society. Upon graduating, she's been offered a full-time position at Ernst & Young and is exciting, excited to pursue a Master's in Professional Accounting next summer. Congratulations, Josie. The winner of the Financial Executives Institute Silver Medallion is Jordan Aaron Fleming. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Energy Management, Stephanie Joyce Scott Douglas. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Human Resources and Organizational Dynamics, Manal Salim Sheikh. The winner of the Silver Medallion in International Business, Lee Adrian Stauffer. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Management Information Systems, Ryan Hin Wai Chu. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Marketing, Joshua James Prohurst. The winner of the Silver Medallion on Operations Management, Lindsay Joy Ritz. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Petroleum Land Management, Alexander Gobastenovich. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Risk Management and Insurance, Alison Jan Modisat. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Tourism, Taylor Marie Potras. And the winner of the Silver Medallion in History, Erin Christina Langhill.
ladies and gentlemen, family and friends who have come from far and wide, thank you for attending the convocation ceremony today and supporting our graduates. What a pleasure it's been for all of us to see these accomplished women and men cross our stage. Thank you to our esteemed faculty for the Haskane School of Business, as well as graduate studies. To our honorary degree recipient, Dr. David Teese. Thank you, Dr. Teese, for your thoughtful address, and congratulations to you. You are a role model and an inspiration. As well, congratulations to this morning's medal winners again, Josie Ryan, Jordan Fleming, Stephanie Scott Douglas, Martina Gatskiewicz, Manal Sheikh, Lee Stofer, Ryan Chu, Joshua Crowhurst, Lindsay Ritz, Alexander Gwajdinovich, Allison Modisette, Taylor Poitras, and Aaron Langhill. Well done. Spring Convocation wouldn't be the same without uh, the music, so to Alf Miller, our piper, thank you. The University of Calgary String Quartet under the direction of Edmund Agopian, thank you. Our vocalist earlier today, Jennifer Humphreys um, Michaelef, along with trumpeter Richard Schultz, thank you all. And thank you to our order, Brian Smith. Uh, Brian, for your stirring uh, citation for Dr. Teese, that was great. And of course, a special thank you to all of our volunteers, the marshals, the ushers, the sound team, and comm media, and all the staff and volunteers who worked so hard over the last days and weeks to make this an especially uh, memorable convocation ceremony. Career dreams are not realized by wishing on a star. Career dreams are built upon a solid educational foundation. And I know, I'm confident that uh, all of our graduates have built a foundation here at the University of, of Calgary. It is rock solid. Today, you leave the university equipped with an enriched perspective of our world, an inspiring vision, and your own set of personal goals. We wish you success and happiness no matter where life may take you. Congratulations once again, one last time to all our graduates as well as to your family and your, your friends. I declare this convocation closed. Please stand for the departure of the processions.